Got a really tight turning radius there. <laughs> it doesn't look that high from here, but it really is. It really is high up there. In case you missed it, that's where we were last night. That gorgeous sunset. I think we really do need to replace the filter on this. This is hard to pump. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Should have checked this before we left. <laughs> Water is pretty clear. <laughs> All right, it's the start of a 3.75 kilometer portage. Off to a good start. Quick little idiot check. No idiots. Portage Trail's got some serious stuff.
So this is definitely the biggest portage of the entire trip. It's uh, 3.75 kilometers, but like it's just so gorgeous that uh, you're kind of preoccupied with all the sights and sounds and it just seems to fly by. That's a good rest stop. You're able to like get the canoe pretty high up. Yeah. And get out without much clunking. There's that one really long steep bit, but the rest of it has been very smooth. Yeah. Here we go, we're we'll diving in the down in the Mississippi. We went to the swampy waters and up the great big hill. <laughs> but now it's almost over. You can tell the air is getting colder. <laughs> Julia's going that way, though I do see a really big log, which I could balance on. Don't drop the gimbal, Chris. Don't drop the gimbal. Nice. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, if the shoes weren't wet before, they certainly are now. <laughs> I think this is probably actually the most difficult portage we've filmed so far for the vlog. We've definitely done longer. We did a, uh, I think a 7.5 when we were crossing the park from west to east a few years ago. But this one's giving us a run for the money considering all the up. Can't feel it at home, but there's a beautiful breeze coming through the trees off the lake. <laughs> it's so welcome. Almost there. Woo! Nice. Oh. Good job. Woo. Welcome to Hogan's Lake. That was a doozy. That was a doozy. Good job. Oh. Thank you. Nice. Classy. Oh. Oh, it's lovely. That is lovely. Oh, that sparkly water is beautiful. So guys, that island that's just off Julia's right shoulder is where we stayed on our first vlogging series when we came into Hogan's Lake. And we actually arrived at that campsite in the dark and then about 20-30 minutes later it just completely rained down with lightning and thunder and it was, it was a pretty intense night but an adventure for sure. And uh, I'll link to those videos in the description below. Time to go that way! <laughs> oh, no, we need a 
<laughs> We're going the wrong way because I'm filming. <laughs> We're gonna hit land! Paddle harder! 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 Ooh, that's pretty hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like diamonds. Like diamonds. I like this. I think you used to this. Oh yeah, that's the path. Campsite straight ahead.
in the notepad. Shake your pad da. Which would you like to have first? The pad thai or the Thai coconut curry with beef and rice noodles? Ooh, I sort of want to go with the classic. All right. Next. Backpacker's Pantry Pad Thai is actually our favorite. It's incredibly delicious. It's totally worth it. That being said, we haven't had this yet, and this is looking really good. Ooh, let's get your first impression. Mm. That's good. That's good? Nice. Ooh, there's a nice spice to it. I don't know. I, th I still think I like the Pad Thai better, but we'll see. That's pretty, it's a, it's a close second. So for those of you who watched our first Algonquin series, that's where we saw the bear. Julia is a complete boss when it comes to starting fires. This one was fairly easy though. The last people who were here left us the mother load of wood. So guys, I've got the 360 cam set up again in front of the fire here on Lake Lemire. And uh, yeah, video again is linked below. Check it out. Marshmallow, peanut butter, and team pie brownie. This is Julia's, oh, what do we call it? Julia, what, is it called the classic? Do we call this a classic? Peanut butter is more. Yeah. No, but is there a better descriptive word? Um, Time honor tradition. Um, classic.